So dividing thirds this time, let's look at the general form so we get a feel for what this is going to look like. Uh, a root m over b root n equals a over b root m over n. So you can see we're getting rid of the two third signs and they're creating one third sign here. So let's jump straight into it and have a couple of cracks. First one, no a and b in this one, or a and b are equal to 1, so we can sort of ignore them. Root 21 divided by root 3, that's going to be equal to the root of 21 divided by 3, which is going to be equal to the root of 7. Very, very simple. If you're dividing one third by another, they all go under the one third sign, you can find yourself an answer. 16 root 6 over 2 root 2. It's exactly the same as this here. So it's going to be equal to 16 over 2 times root 6 over 2. Root 6 over 2. That's going to be equal to 16 divided by 2, which is 8. Root 6 divided by 2, 3. Alright, very straightforward. This time, 15 over 10. Oh, sorry, 15 root 22 over 10 root 11. Again, this divided by this times root 22 over 11. 15 over 10 isn't going to divide neatly like this one did. 15 over 10 can be simplified though. 3 over 2 times root 22 over 11, that's going to be root 2. The way that this should neaten up, 3 root 2 over 2. That 2 belongs to that sort of 3 there. It's 3 root 2 divided by 2. Another way, an alternative way to look at this, alternative way to look at this is to simplify these. 15 over 10 is 3 root 2 over 22, 11. Sort of like this. Probably stick with this method here, but that's an alternative way of thinking of these things. Really the last one, and you want to be a bit wary of this, is 3 root 36 over 2 root 2. It's tempting here to start working on this straight away, but you should be able to look and see that you can simplify root 36. Root 36 is just 6. So what we end up with is 3 times 6 with no root here at all. The root just disappears because the square root of 36 is 6. Over 2 root 2. That'll give us 18 over 2 root 2. And then we can simplify these numbers out the front. 18 divided by 2 is 9. We end up with an answer of 9 root 2. So just be very wary when you're doing dividing of thirds that you might be able to simplify before you start. Before you start, you might be able to simplify. Even if, if you miss that step, you might be able to simplify after you finish. But in any case, make sure you check to see if you can simplify either at the start or at the end.